everybody, Dr. Roger DeSessa here, health and wellness expert and chiropractor. We're talking about the, uh, the flu going around you. It's a time of year, flu always becomes that big discussion, so I'm going to talk about a few things we can do to reduce your chance of getting the flu. One of the best things you can do to reduce your chance of getting the flu is getting the flu vaccine. No, 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 it's not. Really, it's not. I'm telling you, one of the best things you can do to reduce your chance of getting the flu is washing your hands regularly. All it takes is a little bit of soap. I love this stuff. It's really good stuff. It doesn't take anything special. You don't need this garbage. This is chemically loaded, all kinds of stuff. And forget about it. Just use plain old soap like this. Wash your hands. How long do you wash it for? If you sing the, uh, the alphabet song once or the ABC song twice, that's usually enough and adequate to do it. Now, there's other things that can happen to you during this time of year to reduce or lower your immune system function. One of them is we start down on the sugar because it's the holidays. Well, sugar's been known to reduce immune system function, so if you cut that out, it's also going to help the vitamin C get into your cells because glucose and vitamin C are very similarly structured. So if you've got sugar in your system, the vitamin C can't get on. You'll be down like 20,000 IUs of vitamin C hoping to get better. If you've got sugar in your system, forget about it. Get rid of the sugar first. Next thing is keep getting that sunshine. I talked about that earlier. Vitamin D, wonderful for helping the immune system stay strong, especially during this time of year. When it's darker outside, people aren't getting as much to supplement if you have to. The next thing you got to do, make sure you get your chiropractic adjustments. Really important stuff. It helps a robust, robust immune response with the chiropractic adjustment. And don't stop your exercise routine. Exercise is important for keeping the immune system going, too. Get plenty of rest. Keep your stress low. And if you do succumb, it's time to take yourself a little break. It's your body's way of saying, you got to take some time out. Get healthy. Um, you can do echinacea. You can do oxalcoxanum. These are all really great tools. Go to my website, the Facebook fan page. I've got a special little post up there, cold versus flu, and some other great tips for helping you stay healthy and get healthy. Dr. Roger Sessa, health and wellness expert, helping you protect your most valuable asset, your good